Welcome back to The Mic. This is episode three, and before I introduce you to my guest today, make sure to like and subscribe below, because we'll be bringing you a new guest every Friday. My guest today is Megan Bozak, Olympic silver medalist and defender for the Markham Thunder. Megan, thanks for coming on the mic. Thanks for having me. So, I'll start you off. You play professional hockey, and since you were a kid and when you grew up playing hockey, women's sports has come such a long way. What do you think of the state of women's sports today? Yeah, I think I can speak more on women's hockey, but sports in general. Um, it's up to us to grow any game that we play. Growing up, I only played with boys because that's really all that was available. Right. So I think you have to start somewhere and you have to be that mind of tomorrow. So that's the reason we play and that's the reason that we have such a deep passion for this is because we see those little girls trying to be where we are right now. Right. And the growth still is tremendous where there's so much room for improvement and with two professional leagues here now is is great in North America. But women's sports in general I think is getting on a bigger platform which we need and I, I think it can only go up from here. You spoke about how you guys see like little girls playing and, and you you know want to grow your sport so that way it's easy for them. What would you say to someone who wants to be you? Keep dreaming. It's it's such a fun journey, it's such a fun path, and everyone has their own path, and I think that's what you have to realize is no one's gonna take the same steps to get where they want to be, but through the ups and the downs, the highs and the lows, you have to have fun with it, and you have to uh, enjoy what you do every single day. The day you don't enjoy what you do, um, maybe there's something else for you. Because I see all these little girls come to our games, uh, write to us on social media, asking us questions, asking us for pictures. Um, and it's just incredible how far it's come, but to that little girl that wants to be a dreamer and a believer, let her, because the sky's the limit for, for little girls like that. That's awesome. You play for the Markham Thunder, the CWHL, but then there's the NWHL. You know, you used to play for the Buttes, Buffalo Buttes, in the NWHL, so why the change? So I actually got drafted by the Toronto Furies in the CWHL in 2014, and I played here for a season. The new league started in the NWHL, and a lot of us made a push in the United States to go over to this new league, um, to start something new, to again be like that stepping stone. After a, a heartbreaking end of 2017 with, with getting cut from the Olympic team and uh, just trying to move past that, uh, Markham had reached out and I, I know the area pretty well with being here for, for three years. Um, and it just seemed like a good fit and we won the Clarkson Cup um, back in March, which is just, it's incredible to, to win a championship, no matter how big, how small. There's no better feeling. So it was a pretty easy decision to, to come back here for season two and try to defend that title. You're talking about defending that title. Um, you guys were the fourth ranked team going into the playoffs. You won the Clarkson Cup. So what is the feel now going into this season looking to defend that? Yeah, well, we now have that target on our back. Right. We had nothing to lose last season. We were barely making playoffs. Now we're the ones that everyone wants to beat, so it's fun. We play knowing that everyone wants to beat you, but we have to be that much better. We have to put in that much more effort, and it starts here because the season comes fast and the games are going to be as competitive as ever, so we have to be ready. Right. Well, now newly engaged to another professional athlete, what is that like? for you guys and, and that kind of lifestyle? It's hectic. I mean, he lives on the west uh, in Victoria, British Columbia, and I'm here in Toronto. Um, it's exciting though, supporting someone in their dreams and their goals. And uh, with Andrew playing rugby, trying to qualify for World Cup, it's a whole new perspective on something I knew nothing about. Um, and I think I can speak on him saying the same about women's hockey. Um, knowing that I have support from him and he has support from me is great. We're going to start ambitious, and we're going to each have a puck. And so we'll see uh, if I can flip my puck to you, and you can flip your puck to me. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh. I, was, I didn't even see mine. I just launched it at you and played to the back. Ready? Three, two, one. Okay, third time to charm it. <laughs> oh, you win! <laughs> He's the winner. Ready? Yeah. Rapid question. Number one place on your bucket list to travel to? Australia. I'm really hoping my honeymoon can be in Australia. So hopefully like someone watches this. 
hopefully. <coughs> yeah. Ferg. <coughs> Ferg. <coughs> um, second question. Least favorite word. Oh my gosh. Moist. I hate the word moist. I can't explain it. I don't like it. You can play one other sport professionally. What would it be? Beach volleyball. Played volleyball growing up. I loved it, but that's my favorite sport to watch in the Olympics. Well, thank you for coming on the mic. Thank you for having me. That was awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks. And congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.